17 minutes before 12 o'clock. That means there's 12 hours and 17 minutes until 2016. Okay. We're almost done with the year, Tish. Yes, we are. It's time for fun with Joe, and Joe is in the building, but he doesn't want to do it. He wants to stay with his family. He's having fun. He's on a little vacation there. That's and, uh, right. Tish Moller sitting in for Joe Martone. Yes. And, yes, the, yes. and the game we're doing is, this, is the same game we've been doing uh, since we started doing this with you on Monday, Tish. I have more Tuesday. Whenever it was we started with you. Was it Monday? Whatever day. Monday or Tuesday. Uh, these are the questions <laughs> that Bob Houck provided for us. Bob Houck was an owner of WOCA a long, long time ago. Uh, he was my first boss. Was he your first boss? Yes. To, uh, Bob owned it with you? First, you. first boss in radio. And you were my boss for many years. Yes. And, and you even were an owner, right? For a yeah, while? For a little bit. Yeah, see? Whew. So one thing we haven't done, Rob, we haven't owned it. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you've done everything else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've done everything else, yeah. We even scrubbed the toilets now and then. Yes, and, we do. And engineering. <laughs> and oh, engineering. Oh, oh, yes, I have done engineering, yes. I'm not, I'm not qualified, but I did it. And take out the garbage. We multitask. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the, uh, the questions are from Bob Houck. He would provide us with uh, memories questions, Florida memories and Ocala memories questions. Uh, so today I have from March 2009 and August 2010... And uh, so that's what Tish and Robert will be answering. And uh, Do you want to know what the prizes are? What are the prizes? The prizes are a $20 gift certificate to Bob Wines Nursery and Camellia Garden, a $25 gift certificate to Pack Mail, a $30 gift certificate to the Great American Cookie Company. Nice. And we again have the student membership at the Appleton Museum. It's a twenty, a thirty-five dollar uh, for young adults ages twenty-one to thirty-nine. Plus, we still have the calendars for Save the Manatee. Yeah, nice, nice, beautiful photographs of manatees. Absolutely, I've got one in my office. I need one. Okay. I got an old calendar in my office. <laughs> well, we'll get you it's one. It's old as of midnight tonight. <laughs> All right, uh, and so you need to call. Oh, we need a seg. What do you have? A, a oh, this disclaimer. is a $120 prize pack. And if you or anyone in your household has won fun with Joe in the past 30 days, you are ineligible to play today. And you have seven days to pick up your prize. By the way, quick programming note. At 12 o'clock, Glenn Beck will not be heard. Instead, we have the uh, FSU football game. It's the, what is it called? Chick-fil-A Peach, Peach Bowl. Bowl game. Yep, the Chick-fil-A yeah. right. Peach Bowl, FSU versus Houston. So if you want to bet on Tish or Robin, you need to call right now. The number is 622-9622. We'll be doing questions from March of 2009 and August of 2010 from Bob Howe. Call right now, 622-9622. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Some fog patches for a wild Thursday morning. Otherwise, very warm and humid with intervals of clouds and sunshine. There can be a shower in spots mainly this afternoon. The high today, 82 to 86. Thursday night, partly cloudy, warm and muggy with some fog late, though 65 to 69. For New Year's Day, patchy morning fog. Otherwise, mostly cloudy, warm and humid with a shower in spots again, mainly in the afternoon. The high in the upper 70s to low 80s. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Joe Lundberg. We are saving thousands with Robert Palmer. Uh, so yeah, so rule number one is always shop around. Always shop around. If you're trying to get a mortgage, if you're trying to get the best credit card, if you're looking at student loans, cell phone bills, you name it, rule number one is always shop around. Always shop around. That's rule number one, just one more vital part of fighting back to stop being a financial zombie. Yes, you can take the mystery out of the complicated world of finances, take charge when it comes to your money. Listen in on The Source, 96.3 FM and 1370 AM, Saturdays at 12.05. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Your weekends are getting a little retool. Swear to God, not making a joke. Check this out. New shows? Check. Some new talent. Check. Let's welcome the guys. Let's get it going. Arnie Spanier. Unbelievable. TJ Reeves. This is what you get. Your weekends.
weekends are on fire. Because that's how exotic it is. We are Buzzwords! Hospice of Marion County has an urgent need for volunteers to share a conversation with someone, run errands, hold someone's hand. All you need is a willingness to help others. Our volunteers believe the blessings they receive far exceed the services they offer. Will you consider serving, caring, and making a difference? Call today, 873-7441. Hospice of Marion County, making more moments of life possible. All right, 12 minutes before 12 o'clock. That means there's 12 hours and 12 minutes left in this year, and that means there's 12 minutes before the football game starts, so we've got 12 minutes to have fun with Tish in Yay. the Fun with Joe show. Elizabeth is betting on Tish, and Martha is betting on Robert. These questions are from Robert, 2000. Robert. <laughs> what did I say? Robert. I said Robert? Yes. Right? Yeah, that's I hope I, I never call you Robert. <laughs> Robin. Martha is betting on Robin. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I would say that. But anyway, so uh, these it's questions are from 2009. With that in mind, the, the first question um, has a different number in it. You'll see what I'm saying in just a second. I just can't do the math right now. But in, in 2009, Bob Halk wrote this question. Name the 76-year-old country music singing star and Ocala resident who supported Senator John McCain in last year's presidential election. Now, remember, that came out in 2009, so he's no longer 76. And, of course, John McCain didn't run last year. So who's the uh, country music star who lives in Ocala? Still does, by the way. Oh, his name is... Um, mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh, Mel Tillis. Mel Tillis is right. Okay. The stuttering One there was a good, board, good touch Martha. right there. Well... <laughs> I was trying to think of his name. <laughs> On Florida's highways, what color are the signs generally categorized as warning signs? What color are they? Green. No. Uh, yellow? Yellow is right. Yeah, green are informational signs. Right? And, right. And, and brown are like recreational State signs. Parks. Yeah, recreation. Yeah. yeah, recreation. The Salvador Dali Museum in St. Pete it is in St. Pete. What is the official category of Dali's art? What kind of artist was he? What did they call his art? Oh. Is it abstract? No. Uh. Not abstract. <laughs> Good morning. Do you know? Surrealism. Surrealism. Oh. And who's the point for? Oh, we'll give it to Robin and, and Happy New Year, guys. Oh, Thank Happy you. New Thank Year, you. Hugh. Have fun in Orlando. Oh, no, I'm staying home here. I'm dog-sitting. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hugh. All right, what Florida key is home to the National Key Deer Refuge? Manatee. No. No. Uh, Monroe. That's the county. Um, is there, is there a key called Monroe Key? Huh? Marathon? No, it's Big Pine Key. Big Pine oh, key. Big Pine Key. Uh, I've never seen those deer. Never oh, they're little, them. and it, they're all over the place. Oh. You, you can't miss them when you go there. Wow. It's a very cool little... Uh, there's an island there also. One of the keys has r rabbits everywhere. I don't know if really? they... Really? Yeah. I got to go. <laughs> I got to <laughs> see all those rabbits and deer. I haven't been to the keys in forever. Charlotte is the only Florida county named for a woman. What is the county seat of Charlotte County? What is the county seat of Charlotte County? Good grief. Where did he come up with this question? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, um, oh, gee, what, uh, Naples? No, it's two words. PG are the uh, PG. initials. PG. PG. Not Procter & Gamble. Uh, PG. Palm Garden? Uh, no, no, that's a very good guess. Oh, oh, oh Pointe Gorda. Oh, that's good enough. Punta Gorda is right. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, good right, enough. Right. I thought I got it wrong. Who played actress, I mean, who played author Marjorie Kinnon Rawlings in the 1982 remake of The Yearling, which was filmed here in Marion County? Who played Marjorie Kinnon Rawlings? Oh, what is her name? I like her. Her <laughs> name. Oh, 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 Mary Steenburgen. Mary Steenburgen is right. Yes. Bob liked her, too. Oh, did he, did he get to meet her? I bet he did. He probably did. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, he liked her, liked her. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Really? That's Tampa awesome. Bay's baseball team is called the Rays. What was their earlier name? Devil Rays. Devil Rays is right. Good job. Yeah. Finally, I got one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you were to list all 67 Florida counties alphabetically, which 
county in the panhandle, by the way, would be last? Which county would be last alphabetically? Starts with a W. A W? What was a W? Mm-hmm. Warren? Is it Warren? No, think of Walton. the first president. Washington? Washington. Oh, okay. Was- yeah. I never even knew. When Disney, when Disney World was conceptualized back in the 1960s, it received a special development and zoning name so that all of the various elements of the parks could be constructed free of local regulation. What was this special district known as? Oh, Reedy Creek? Reedy Creek is right. Well, we've been to wow. Disney a lot, so I remember it's Reedy <laughs> Creek all over the place. Reedy the Creek. Reedy Creek Fire Department, they're all... That's good marketing. Interstate 4 is one of the most heavily traveled interstate highways in the United States, but it's also one of the shortest. What are its east and west cities? Uh, West is Tampa. Right. East is Daytona. Very good. Very good. Oh, good job. I wouldn't have guessed that. Orange Lake straddles the Marion County, Alachua County line and has several islands that do something special. What do these islands do? Float. They float, is <laughs> right. <laughs> they float. Cool. I wonder if they're still there after all of that all of that drought we had. Now that's I never knew that. I never knew that. All right, this one is wow. from a, a, a Bob Houck game from January of 2012. He wrote, his great-grandfather was manager of baseball's old Philadelphia athletics for more than 50 years, and he recently announced he will run for the U.S. Senate from Florida in 2012. Who is he? And you might remember Tish. He came into the studios and did an interview with uh, Bill Patton. Wow. Yeah, he came in. He was in the production room. Steinbrenner then. And we all had to be very... We had to walk on our tippy toes. Oh. (laughs) We all had to be careful. Because there's a famous politician in there. Come on, do you know who that might have been? His first name, I think, is Connie. Yeah, that's right. And I can't think of his last name. Yeah, Connie is right. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'll give it to you. It's Connie Mack. Who do you want the point to go to? Oh, good, good. Thank you. Robin. Robin. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Not Robert, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> it's on tape. We wouldn't fun you. Uh, let's see. What was the gist of the announcement regarding trash collection in Ocala that started in 2012? What did they start doing in 2012? Recycling. Recycling is right. Curbside recycling. They had good recycling, job. but not curbside. Now they have curbside. And they just picked mine up yesterday. (laughs) Uh, What breed of non-native duck, which is considered to be a pest, has been at the Ocala uh, Tuscawilla Park area? Oh, gee. Although I don't know that they're anymore. No, it does start with an M. Uh, Muscogee? Yeah, it's close enough. Muscovy. 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 Pronounced it. They didn't end up killing them, did they? I don't think so. Well, of course, they didn't let us know they did. (laughs) They had that big push that we pushed, don't kill them, so they hauled them off. What was the official name of the first manned spacecraft to land on the moon in July of 1969? Apollo 1? No. It was Apollo something, but not 1. Oh, Apollo... uh, 12? No, it was 11. 11. 11. Oh, okay. What Florida State Park was the first underwater state park in the United States? Children's oh. drinks. Wiki watchy. No and no. <laughs> the first underwater state park? The first underwater state park in the United States. Oh, Rainbow Springs. No. Um, it's on the on the East Coast. Um, well, the whole state's on the East Coast. <laughs> 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 um, Marineland. No, no. Yeah, that was underwater. It's in the it's in the keys. It's John Pennycamp Coral Reef State Park. Oh, and in, that's the first underwater park. The entire park is underwater. Yeah, you want to go? I've been there. You got a like twenty nine years did ago. Did you go underwater? Yeah, I swam underwater, <laughs> but I was thinking like like you did, mermaids or the fish. And um, stuff. What is the official definition of brackish water or brackish water found in many Florida bays and rivers? What are they? Salt, what? salt water, and fresh water. Yes, mix. yes, it's a salt. Good job. Yeah. The boys like to fish them. I'm not so sure why. There was a, there was a reason why they like to fish there. Uh-huh. Remember? We'll have to ask. Six for Elizabeth and Tish. Eight for Martha. Uh, 2012 U.S. Senate candidate Connie Mack was a no- has a notable wife. 
who currently serves in the House from California. Who is she? Oh, that's uh, uh, Mrs. Sonny Bono. Yes. The, Mrs. Who? The Sonny widow, Bono. The widow of Sonny Bono. She, wow. She married him. On February 6, 1947, the president officially dedicated the brand new Everglades National Park. Who was the president that year? What year? 1947. Eisenhower. No. Uh, Roosevelt? No. Nixon? No. 1947. Right. Eisenhower, Roosevelt. Truman. Truman is right. Oh, Truman. Good I knew job. it eventually. <laughs> good job. The art collection of former Cuban dictator uh, Fulgencio Batista is known as the Cuban collection. It's on display in what city in Florida? Miami. No, go north. Well, Tampa? Or, go east. Florida. Go north. <laughs> Palm Beach. Go uh, further. St. Augustine. <laughs> Go south. <laughs> Flagler. Daytona. Daytona oh, Beach. Oh, Daytona. Daytona. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. We'll have to take a trip over there and see the artwork. Um, where in Florida is the world's largest collection of Tiffany glass on display at the Morse Museum? In other words, where's the Morse Museum? Oh, that's in um, Rollins, Collins, uh, Rollins College area. <laughs> right, uh, right, right. Oh, gee. <laughs> what is the name the of that city? The largest collection of Tiffany glasses on display at the Morris Museum oh. in what city? Oh, Sarasota? WP no. are his initials, or w- its initials. WP. West, West Palm? No, Winter Park. Oh, oh Winter, Winter Park. Park. Who wins? Who wins? Uh, Martha wins with nine. Elizabeth has seven. Martha, come pick up your prize. All right. Thank you, Tish. That was fun. Ooh, thank you. Happy New you. Year, everybody. Stay tuned. We've got a football game coming up. It's the Chick-fil-A Peach, Peach Bowl, Bowl with yep. FSU. Yep. Right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. From the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Buying Dalvin Cook will be on the field for SunTrust. It's never been easier to switch to SunTrust. Visit SunTrust.com slash switch. Now let's take a look at the Coca-Cola Zero starting lineups. And here you go. We anticipate Florida start, State starting at a base offense that includes a fullback, which will be Freddie Stevens. And here's your offensive line. One change from the uh, previous game in Gainesville. Brock Rubel starts at right tackle. Chad Mavetti is injured, will not play today. Rubel making a sixth start at right tackle. The left tackle is Roderick Johnson, ACC lineman of the year. The left guard is Kareem R. The right guard, Wilson Bell. Alec Eberly is the starting center. The starting tight end is Ryan Izzo. The wide receivers to begin the ball game, Bobo Wilson and Travis Rudolph. The starting running back is Dalvin Cook. The fullback, Freddie Stevenson. And Sean McGuire will start in his first bowl game as a Seminole. The redshirt junior from Sparta, New Jersey, coming off a huge win in Gainesville, the last game of the regular season. Sean McGuire to quarter, Dalvin Cook to do his thing. 1,600 and 58 yards and still counting averaging nearly eight yards a carry can't wait to see dalvin cook on the turf here in atlanta oh by the way his predecessor Devontae freeman plays on this field as a home field for the atlanta falcons and has had a remarkable second season in the league kermit whitfield deep to return the opening kick along with jalen ramsey Offense, defense, special teams. Houston has the complete package. And when it comes to kicking the football, they got a long leg in Ty Cummings. He'll put toe to leather, and we're underway officially of the Chick-fil-A Bowl. Ramsey chases it down three yards deep. We'll bring it out near sideline, outside the number. Gets the quarter turn, down the sideline to the 30, to the 35. He is to the 37-yard line. Herbert Whitfield, I beg your pardon. Whitfield, number eight. You gotta love that. How about That's Kermit Whitfield starting this game the right way, 37 yards. Sorry about Jalen wears number eight. Kermit Whitfield wears number eight. On kickoffs, Jalen wears number 17. Step on my toe. Florida State has the football. We'll start at the 37-yard line. Players shaken up. Right on the near sideline. Cannot see who that is. That's the Houston. It's a Houston player, Gene. They definitely got his number covered up right now. I can't see who it is. Athletic training staff and medical personnel. Florida State with a football and an electrifying return by Kermit Whitfield. We will never forget the kickoff return for a touchdown.